Today in this video we'll be showing you how to replace the right angle uh, ultra grease in the rebel angle heads. So if you haven't already, remove any of your pads, sanding pads or uh, guards for the grinder. Place the rebel tool in your vise with aluminum or brass jaws in the flats of the tool here. You're going to need a breaker bar, a torque wrench, Loctite 567, and a lock wing wrench to complete this uh, repair, or this grease change. So put your breaker bar on, break the lock ring loose. You may need to heat up the lock ring or you may need to use an extension. So here, clean up any piece that's on here and I'll use a heat gun to try and help uh, break this loose. You don't want to go too long on this. You just want to go around the edges just long enough to heat up the Loctite, the adhesive that's holding that lock ring in place. Just kind of work your way around. Place your lock ring wrench on, and there now we can break it loose nice and easy. Remove the lock ring. Be careful, it's going to be hot after you've heated it up. So we'll set that aside. You will want to clean this uh, before you reinstall it. So you'll want to make sure that you clean the threads off of any uh, old Loctite. So here you can remove your gear set. And at this point, you'll want to inspect your gear set. Uh, this one is still in good shape. So we can reuse this. We'll just be refilling the grease. Clean this off just to make it easier to work with when you reinstall. And at this point, you're gonna take a, a rag, a Q-tip, a pipe cleaner, whatever you have to get down in here and clean all the old grease out. So you wanna get all the old grease out. We'll just do our best to get all that out of there. Now you can check for this before you start cleaning out your grease or sometimes the grease gets packed in over it, but there's going to be a wave spring in the uh, right angle housing here and you're going to want to just remove that and clean it up before reinstalling everything. So again, just take care to make sure you remove that wave spring so you can reuse it. Now once the head has been cleaned of all your old grease, you will take your Ultra Gear Grease, part number 96664, and you'll need 14 grams to pack into the uh, outside edge of the tool here. You don't want to fill this middle space where the bearing is going to go, only the outer edge here into the recess. So until you are familiar and used to doing this and you know how much grease to use, uh, you can actually weigh it out. I pre-weighed this to 14 grams, so I'm going to be using this to pack in. And you can pack it in whatever way is easiest for you. Once you're used to it, using the tubes a lot easier, you can get in there and squeeze it around. But packing it in until you're used to it works as well. Just carefully apply it here. And if you're going to be packing it in by hand like I did in this video, it's always a good idea to use a Q-tip to kind of press everything down in there just to make sure there's no air pockets. And in this case, everything seems to be in pretty good order. So then any little bit of oil that might have got into the center where the bearing's going to go, just clean that out. I did get a little bit extra in there. So at this point, you would have already gone and cleaned up your uh, lock ring cover. So you can go ahead, reinstall your wave spring in the recess for the bearing pocket. 
reinstall your gear set assembly. Press that in, or push that in. Make sure everything's still spinning, spinning freely. Now we're gonna apply a small amount of Loctite 567 to the lock ring cover. Don't need a lot, just enough to go through the threads. And now we're gonna use our lock ring wrench to torque this into place. And the torque setting on this is gonna be 23 Newton meters. Uh, 23 Newton meters is equal to 203 inch pounds or 16 foot pounds. So on my particular wrench that I have here, it's in foot pounds. So I'll set this for 16 foot pounds. Actually, it's already set at 16. And we'll just tighten this. And there we are. Your gear grease change is complete. Reinstall any accessories or abrasives and you're good to go.